that it, as long as you have that set up, <clears throat> yeah. Well, did you hook up the mic? Make sure you hook up the mic, man. Hey, Reggie, hand me them papers over there. Oh, my God. da da do Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Docs Daily, where you get highly classified documentations from your boy, Sean Blazy. <laughs> but ain't nothing funny, though. Before I even get started on giving you all these exclusive documentations, I want to say that I got mad love for Kevin Hart. I was his number one hater. I was like, Kevin Hart fell off. He not funny no more. Blah, blah, blah. Like a whole lot of other people said. But y'all don't understand what was going on with Kevin Hart and why his comedy switched up the way it switched up. We live in a time to where you got to do what you got to do. If you say anything that'll hurt somebody's feelings, you ain't going to have no career. So y'all talking about these comedians not funny no more. But the truth is they ain't got no choice but not to be funny. Because if they funny, y'all going to get mad at them for being funny. But that's Negro here nor there. Oh my goodness. I know y'all probably saw the show on Netflix, True Story. And you like, damn. Kevin Hart's supposed to be a comedian, but this show is damn sure serious. But what y'all got to realize is the truth shall set you free. And when you put out facts, people can't do nothing with you because y'all know the truth. Regardless of how you feel about it or what you got to say about it, you was entertained by it. So you can't judge this man either way. This was the smartest thing he could have ever done. In his career and it was necessary for him to do this because there was some things that happened in real life that coincides with this show and i'm about to break down everything for y'all kevin hart car careens off road into a ditch kevin and driver suffer major injuries look at the car y'all look at what do you mean major injuries how do, did they even make it out alive oh my who walks out of that it's done the car it's over ain't no major injuries or survival a lot of people talking about kevin hart is a clone now that's not really kevin hart no more people coming up with all this ridiculous stuff and i gotta let y'all know that everything that you about to hear in this video is allegations and speculations and none of this is you know it's all just mystery and all that type of stuff i'm not trying to confirm or trying to convince you to believe nothing but i will share with y'all a couple of gems before we even move an inch further into these deep documentations for those of you that seen the show and this fella right here the dude that Kevin Hart really strangled out and choked him out real bad. He looked like somebody really, really familiar in the entertainment business. Somebody that put Kevin Hart on. Somebody with the same characteristics of a person that will get over on you for your whole career unless you ditch him, dame him, and dash him, y'all. Oh my goodness. Real talk with Dame Dash on putting Kevin Hart on and what Lee Daniels owe Dame. And a lot of people owe Dame Dash. So in this show, the symbology is there for you. But you ain't going to understand it until I break this down completely. And that's what I'm about to do. But before we do that, I need y'all to do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, man. Also, hit that notification button, y'all. Don't forget to show me some love because all I ever do is show y'all some love, you heard? And hit that cash app, too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I would greatly appreciate that. And I know these people I be talking about got a whole lot of money and I don't want no beef. But... I do this for the ladies. I risk my life for you fine Georgia peaches out there. Ooh, matter of fact, let's just get back into the documentary, man, because I can go on and on about you beautiful ladies, but we ain't come here for that. We got to get into this news about Kevin Hart, and I'm just going to get straight to the business. Y'all need to listen at this. Be alive after a horrific car crash. Kevin Hart is lucky to be alive after a horrific car crash. Actor and comedian Kevin Hart had to be hospitalized after being badly hurt in a Calabasas car crash. Right there, it was Kevin Hart. It happened just after midnight. 
Kevin Hart in a car with two others. You can see the aftermath from TMZ. Oh my God, wait a minute. It was over for Kevin, but somehow, some way he's still, he's walking on both of his feet. He's still built up the same way he was built up. I mean, God is good, but gosh, I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Jeer Hart was tapped to be host of the 2019 Oscars before a series of past offensive tweets and stand-up material surfaced, which included homophobic slurs and insensitive language. Well, Kevin Hart's job hosting the 91st Academy Awards lasted just two days. The actor and comedian was announced as the host Tuesday afternoon, but overnight Hart stepped down following an outcry over previous homophobic tweets and comments he made during stand-up routines nearly a decade ago. So I just got a call from you. Okay, let's talk about it. In the show, Kevin Hart went to bed with a female and his brother came in the room and told him, hey, Kevin, she's dead, bro. That's how I went down on the show. But allegedly in real life, that wasn't no woman that Kevin Hart went to bed with allegedly. Oh my goodness. And the whole cover up and the whole controversy was we got you with so and so and so in them. And if you don't step down, then, you know, we about to put out all these tweets. We got a whole bunch of stuff on you, Kevin. And it's seeming like that's the reason why all this stuff started to take place. Because in the show, if the woman was dead, why not call the police? But if you call the police and they show up and see that RuPaul laying up in your bed. Oh my goodness. And Wesley Snipes from Wong Tu Fu is also in your bedroom. That was going to be bad publicity, man. So they had to figure out what they had to do to get his name out of that type of mud. Even though he was up in that type of mud. Allegedly, y'all. Now, y'all got to listen at this. Is Netflix true story actually a true story? Given the little, given the title and some broad plot points, many are assuming that Kevin Hart's true story is based on his life, but this is not necessarily the case. Although the show depicts a successful comedian who has an older brother, which matches Kevin's life, the finer details are based on fiction. However, there are underlying themes in the series that can be traced back to Kevin's life and the relationship with his older brother, Robert. R. Kelly is facing some hard time right now, man. And he's behind those bars. And he also put a lot of people on to the game. And a lot of people say that Kevin Hart's brother is the one that introduced him to Damon Dash the same way on the show. His brother is the person that introduced him to this character, y'all. Who looks and dress and act. He had on Gucci on the show. Just like Dame Dash. Aggressive, demanding, bossing people around. And Kevin Hart choked the shit out of him. And that's why Damon Dash ain't got no career. Because the same way... They took out this character in the show is the same way symbolically they took out Dame Dash with his Stacey Adams, man. But we're going to get back to R. Kelly and his brother in a little while because we just got so much stuff we got to get into. Robert turned 50 on September 19th, 2021 and celebrated the milestone on his Instagram account. Happy B-Day to my brother, Robert wrote the funny man words can't explain how much i love and appreciate you thank you for being the best big brother to ever do it your love and support has got me through some of the craziest moments in my life hold up what moments is he talking about you are never not there the true definition of a ride or die is you man happy 50th 40 getting 
G's or whatever he's talking about. While many were taken by such sweet sentimentals, others noticed how Robert looked just like R. Kelly. Here's where's the cloning machine. That's what people want to know. Because how you going to survive this accident and live to talk about it, y'all? But y'all got to stay tuned because, like I said, I'm just getting started. And um, I want to mention again that I got nothing but love for Kevin Hart, man. And I'm so glad that he survived the accident. But did the other person survive? At first, they said it was four people in the car. Then they said it was three people in the car. And then before you know it, it was two people in the car. Now it's looking like Kevin was the only one in the car. And I don't wish this type of stuff on nobody. This ain't no laughing or no joking matter. But this motherfucker, it flipped. I could see if it was an SUV, an armored truck. But we talking about an old school Barracuda that ain't built for no type of damage like that. Man, let's let's just go ahead and um get on with it because uh <clears throat> let's do it. On September 1st, the actor and comedian was a passenger when his car rolled into an embankment in Malibu Hills, California, causing him to suffer major back injuries. What about his face? Oh my goodness. And undergo surgery. Hart was discharged 10 days after the crash to recover and rehabilitation. Nigga, 10 days? Man, we love you, Kevin. But you might not be Kevin. And also, they saying that the woman that was in the bed with him on the show, the one that they thought was dead, was also a symbology of Tiffany Haddish because Kevin was rocking with her real hard at one point in time and you can't tell me it wasn't no chemistry there but now people starting to look at Tiffany Haddish like she might be Tevin Haddish let me show y'all what I'm talking about and I don't like talking about celebrities and stuff because I know these people work hard for what they do but it's possible to make videos like this because highly weird is so weird. We don't know what to believe or who's who or what y'all be doing or where y'all be going, man. They had to get rid of Tiffany Haddish because she's taller than him. She's bigger. She's stronger. She, night school. Look, I wouldn't want to be seen with her in day school if she taller than me like that. And Tiffany Haddish is not a bad looking female whatsoever. Not at all. She's good auntie material, you know. But the room, the rumor is that uh, you know, Kevin, he always talking about I'm a little big man and I like big things, and you know, he got a baby bottle. Some people say Tiffany was his baby bottle at one time, but I doubt if that was true, man. Shout out to Tiffany Haddish, but they when they got rid of that girl in the beginning of the damn show. Allegedly, that was symbology of him getting rid of Tiffany Haddish when he found out that, you know, because Common is with Tiffany Haddish and Common came out not that long ago and said some things that, you know, um, he experienced in his lifetime that nobody knew until Common said something. Let's just get back into this news. Listen at this, y'all. Academy. After initially refusing to apologize. The reason why I passed because I've addressed Hold on, this let me run that time. back. ...nearly a decade ago. So I just got a call from the Academy. After initially refusing to apologize. The reason why I passed because I've addressed this several times. I've said who I am now versus who I was then. I've done it. Now, you had talked about how uh, you don't do gay jokes because there's a gay mafia. Yeah. Yeah, you see what he did to Tracy Morgan. They got a great mafia oh, 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 after he said that he would shoot his son if he's gay or something yeah. like that? Hosting the Oscars has always been one of the toughest jobs in Hollywood. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, hold up. That is nothing but facts. Because when Tracy Morgan got on stage and said those homophobic jokes that I would never, ever repeat, he got in the same type of accident is Kevin Hart 
and he survived and he got hit by a damn a, a mat truck i'm talking about an 18 wheeler walmart truck hold on let me type this in real quick because you know it's it's other stuff we're gonna get to but y'all gotta this type of stuff is just unreal man hold on man tracy morgan says he cried while relieving his 2014 crash we, we got to look at this y'all we got to look at this i'm sorry I know we talking about Kevin Hart, but we got to look at this because they in the same boat. We don't know if Tracy Moore, Tracy Morgan looked like eight different people throughout his whole entire career, man. And Dave Chappelle too. Hold on, man. Tracy Morgan. It's no way you should have that many faces in your career, man. This was one of the original Tracy's. This is another Tracy. This Tracy got the Buster Rhymes Tracy. You got the um, the Martin Lawrence Tracy. You got so many different Tracy Morgans. How you go from same thing with Dave Chappelle. You a slender dude with a slender body. Now you a big. It don't work like that when you get older. You don't go from looking like this to looking like that. That's not even, the, that looked like some plastic. Oh my goodness. And like I said, man, I love these brothers and sisters, but these might be robots and hobots. Oh my God, I can go on for hours, but we ain't come here for that. We got to get back to the show because people, what y'all got to realize about true story, when you really look at it, all Kevin Hart is trying to say is that your black friends and family do you dirty, but your white friends is always going to have your back. His brother, he had to kill that fool. Oh and I ain't trying to spoil it for nobody. And I know I just did. That little news reporter dude that was all up his shit. He was the nicest, sweetest man in the show people cried when he died he just loves kevin his little manager or whatever him he was always on up and up while his bodyguard wanted money to keep everything quiet because he just wanted the money if you pay me i'll stay quiet kevin every black person was crooked in the show and that's why people be calling kevin hard to sell out because this ain't the first time he did some shit like this when it comes to movies and then it was the scene and I know I sound like I hate Kevin Hart, but believe you me, I love him to death. It was the scene where he went to go visit some kids that was cancer patients. And they was all, you know, they wasn't black. And he's sitting down having a conversation with the little kids doing, um, shit, just do a, a Driving Miss Daisy remake. But the reason why he had to make this movie is because the truth will set you free, man. But this accident that took place, this don't even make no damn sense. Did I read this part already? I think I did. And I read it horribly, too. Appearing on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast released Monday, the comedian said he had the biggest cry in his life after coming home from the hospital. My biggest cry in life came from the first day that I came home from the hospital because I never had to see that. I never had to see that house again, he said. Like, there was an option of me never seeing that home again. There was an option of me never walking on that driveway again. There was an option of me never seeing my... That sounds like a, a damn clone talking. Oh, my goodness. Like he come into the house for the first time. He left Kevin Hart and came home. Some Hollywood mumbo jumbo, man. And I know this brother is a good brother. Don't get it twisted, man. And I know he got fans. And the reason why you got to be careful when you make videos about comedians is because comedians make people laugh and y'all have intense feelings towards people that make you laugh. And that's why a lot of people get offended when I say stuff about Kevin Hart or Dave Chappelle. But these are my idols, man. And this type of stuff is not making no sense. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is still alive. How is that even fucking possible? Bill Russell was 200 years old. Shit don't make no sense, man. But uh, we got to keep it moving with this news. Okay, play, play this some more. 
paid or something yeah. like that. Hosting the Oscars has always been one of the toughest jobs in Hollywood, but the criticism usually comes after the show. Less than an hour after Kevin Hart's announcement, a reporter posted screen grabs of the comedian's old homophobic tweets, and from there, the backlash grew. It's owned. The, the hip-hop community is most likely owned by gay. To be honest but, with but you. But you think they'll be... An, They're owned the by gay. They're, I happen to think there's a gay mafia. And he looked extra saucy while he's saying that. The Puerto Rican saucy Santana. But what he's saying is facts, but it always been that way. Y'all be eating them Tony's pizzas and um all of that stuff. Lil Debbie was all studded out on the um the snacks. Lil Debbie had a cute face with big broad shoulders. It ain't nothing new. Uncle Ben was linked to the side looking like um what was the William Carver the scientist? Uncle Bill, man. All that stuff zesty. The um the dude on the um famous Amos. He wasn't only famous for them cookies, or maybe he was. Oh my goodness. I don't know. But y'all can't be making it seem like the Romans and all them people wasn't zesty. And if you a rapper and you a hip hop and you talking about it's owned by zesty people, then you down with the zesty. And you've been in the rap game for a hundred years. I ain't trying to hear it no more. Shout out to the LBG community. Y'all not going to do me like Kevin Hart because I got somewhere I got to go later and I got to make it back safe. You know what I'm saying? I anyway, listen at this. This is the, the crash. And like I said, Kevin Hart wasn't the only one in the car. So whatever happened to the other person? Is that a part of the true story? Is that a part of the cover up, man? OK, let's get into this. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. These are the emergency calls made moments after Kevin Hart's vintage muscle car careened off an L.A. road. He looks like he's the caller describing the chaotic scene early Sunday morning. Sounds like the passenger's stuck in the car. Uh, the driver is out of the car, but uh, he looks a little hurt. Uh, I think the top of the car is crushed. But today there is new confusion about... That's a canned-ass... Oh that call was phony as hell. He sound real nonchalant. I think the car, I think, how, you looking at the car, what do you mean you think the top is crushed? That All of this is Hollywood production, man. This is the after the fact. This is a part of the cover up, just letting the public know what the hell happened, but they not telling the whole damn story. How is a passenger or anybody, look look at that. The roof snapped off, your head gonna snap off. That glass, he ain't got no scars on his face. Kevin Hart looked like a newborn baby man after the accident. Matter of fact, oh, I'm gonna catch his shit before I get out of here. Y'all stay tuned. Kevin Hart before, hold on, I'm gonna get his ass before after oh nigga i got you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at this different head different mouth different nose he got a different neck his beard couldn't even grow out before he got a new hairline wait a minute he was going gray what happened to the gray they got rid of the grays Why he look like he's stuck? Move, Kevin. I, they probably got him on the program because beforehand, he didn't even look like this. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm about to. Mm, it's over for you, Kevin. I'm coming for that number one spot. Hold on. Kevin Hart, young. Mm -hmm. Your fans about to be my fans, sucker. Hold up. Oh, my. Witness. Is Kevin Hart young DC fly? Oh man, it's more than one damn clone. This motherfucker look like Tracy Morgan. What the fuck? Is Kevin Hart really Tracy Morgan? Hold on, man. Look at his beautiful family. His brother look like he'll beat somebody's ass. And his mom look like she don't play around. Hold on, man. 
Is this it? How come he the darkest person in his family? The oh my. Come on, Kev. It Beautiful family, by the way. But they having a white Christmas and he the only black. I guess he's supposed to be the elf or something. Mm. And, oh, I don't like showing people kids and stuff. But he got a beautiful family. That's why I couldn't help but um, look at his family. I'm a little jealous. Obviously, right? But whatever. They throwing up the rock or diamonds or is them supposed to be what what is they throwing up? They probably letting them people know, like, yeah, we with it. Like, come get it, Dame. Like, throw up the butt. I seen y'all over there throwing up the butt. Yeah, we trying to do a movie or something. We trying to do a movie. <laughs> um, yeah. Why is he touching himself on the damn? See, they make you do stuff like that. And that's why I said in the, be in the beginning of the video, I understand. Because when you get in Hollywood and they doing the movie, you may not want to do something to say something, but they the ones paying you. They the ones paying for the movie. They paying for everything. So do what they tell you to do and get the money. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to dress up like this. Kevin Hart is killing it. The making of a comedy superstar. Killing it. Did he kill some? Hold on, wait a minute. Was he out here sacrificing people? He is from Philly. So I wasn't putting nothing past his ass. It's a bunch of grimy dudes from Philly that'll do anything to get a damn dollar. Maybe he was on Scared Row back in the day. And on the show, he was talking about how he used to be on drugs and how he's clean now and I don't want to relapse. That's a true damn story, probably, allegedly. Matter of fact, let's let's look this up real quick. Kevin. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what I'm typing because you know this is exclusive. I got it on on them drugs. Y'all, mm. y'all keep on listening, man, because we gonna get to the bottom of this. Hold what 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 what? Oh my goodness! He was a crackhead. What? Oh, I know he, had, he he was out there wilding. One of them young Philly Bulls. Ain't no telling what. He's a nice guy now, but he wasn't always a nice guy. Kevin Hart talks drug addiction and forgiveness. We ain't forgive you, Kevin, because we didn't know you was on drugs, man. And you better not still be on drugs, especially after we bought all your CDs and stuff, man. Kevin Hart drug addiction runs in the family. The comedian... <laughs> that's not funny because it run in my family but why they got to put him out there like that is that the only way people feel good about giving him a chance like them people in Hollywood like he does the hard stuff you know we gotta, we gotta give him a big check oh Kevin he does he, I seen him get dirty we gotta pay him more gotta pay him more and I think that's how they be getting them big ass movie deals because the Hollywood executives see how you be partying. They're like, shit, he's not going to take $500,000. She sniffed that up in the week. And they don't have no choice but to pay you big. The bigger you live, the bigger you do it, the more they got to pay you. If they see you out here living mediocre, uh, we don't have to pay him. He has a one bedroom shack. He sleeps on the floor. Give him 20K. You have no choice but to be a superstar or a rock star. Kevin Hart drug addiction runs in the family. <laughs> the comedian and Hollywood actor Kevin Hart had a rough childhood dealing with a drug addicted parent. Growing up, his mother looked fine to me. Growing up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he experienced firsthand what it was like to cope with a loved one living with the disease of addiction. Don't try to put it on your loved one, bro. Laughter heals all wounds, and that's one thing everybody shares. No matter what you're going through, it makes you forget about your problem. No, duh, duh. He act like he discovered the holy grail. Laughter heals all wounds. And I know, matter of fact, maybe I am a Kevin Hart hater. You know what I'm saying? I'm taller. Um, shit. Well, I got more belly than he got, but that ain't got nothing to do with it. I could be a superstar. And... 
the way they did Dame Dash is really rubbing me the wrong way. And then to depict him in the movie, and you know he was talking about Dame Dash because when he killed old boy, he had on a shirt that said nigga with an attitude. And we all know that Dame Dash is definitely a, a Negro with an attitude, man. Oh my goodness. I picked up on this stuff and I know a lot of y'all didn't, but that ain't going to stop me from giving y'all the rest of this news because I swear it's exclusive. Let's get back to this. Who is behind the wheel? How many people are stuck inside, do you know? I think it's just one lady now. Uh, the driver is out right now. They're trying to get the passenger out. H hold on. What? What? Ho I think it's just one lady now. Oh. Uh, the driver is out right now they're trying to get the passenger how how you don't know so he had a couple of females with him whatever happened <clears throat> man let's let's continue on man driver's out right now they're trying to get the passenger out the bystander saying he saw the driver get out of the car but the initial report says Hart's friend, Jared Black, was in the driver's seat and trapped in the vehicle when emergency crews arrived. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, I did not. What do you mean the initial story? So y'all just going back. And just mixing, chopping it up. Y'all just chefing it up with this news, man. Wow. Hold on, I'm over here multitasking, but wow. We about to get back to that. Make sure this is good. Yeah, I had to put that up there. Yeah. And uh, one more thing before we get back to this devastating news. Hit that cash app, y'all. Kevin Hart, I know you watching. You know what I'm saying? Hit me off with something, Kevin. Because I know... You know people that be watching the show, bro. Like, just, like, I don't care, like a dollar or something, Kev. And if any of you other comedians out there watching, man, hit your boy off with something. Because y'all know about 6% of this is nothing but facts, man. So, you know, throw me a bone or something, but not like that. All right, here we go. Let's get back to this. Police say Black's fiance, fitness trainer Rebecca Brocksterman, was also unable to get out of the car. In the newly released calls, an unidentified male voice can also be heard speaking in the background. But police did not say any of the passengers were taken to the hospital on their own. What? 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 So four people in the car. All of them survived? But none of them was taken to the hospital? Hold up. Say any of the passengers were taken to the hospital on their own, indicating only Hart left the scene to his nearby residence <gasps> to get medical attention. What? The initial police report also saying alcohol was not a factor in the crash. At 2.15 a.m., a woman identifying herself as Hart's wife called 911 from their home. He was in a car accident earlier tonight, or what happened? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my goodness. Ain't nobody that damn stupid. You know what? I got to be careful. <clears throat> Matter of fact, yes, Kevin Hart did walk out. He he walked home from the, <laughs> from the crash. It was right around the corner, you know. He figured he'd get out and walk it and hoof it with a bottle of water. Like, yeah, I'm about to go. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go home, make me a sandwich and lay down for a little bit. You know, I'm sleepy. He got out the car real smooth with it and mooned walked all the way home. And his wife like, oh, I guess I'll call the police now, Kev. Are you sure you're OK, baby? She rubbing him down with some ice. I think I'll be all right. You sure, baby? Yeah, I think it's about time we call the police. Oh, okay, Kevin, I'll get the phone. The f out of here. Oh, my God. If I ain't have stuff to do, I would let this thing rock. But old girl is thicker than a snicker, man. 
I told y'all them Georgia peaches. I, I got stuff to do nowadays, man. She talking about she frying some chicken. I'm like, damn, I'm on a diet. But that ass ain't on no diet. Oh my goodness. I'm going to eat her chicken. I got stuff to do. But I'm going to be back with some more news, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to get myself together. I'm in love, y'all. Not really in love with that ass. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We ain't here to talk about me. We here to talk about what's going on with Kevin. <laughs> Wait, Kevin Hart. All right, here we go. Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent at all. Hold on. This is his wife on the phone. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Listen at this, man. Listen. This is some bullshit. As Hart's wife called 911 from their home. He was in a car accident earlier tonight, or what happened? Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent at all. What the fuck you mean you don't know what happened? <sighs> the operator said he was in a car accident. Now you're talking about you don't know he was in a car accident. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent. If he's not coherent, how the hell was he able to walk home? So when he just came home, he just passed out. <laughs> as soon as he opened the door. And I know this ain't no laughing matter because, you know, this. But come on, man. He just walk in the door. <gasps> and Kevin, she don't even sound concerned. She sound like she didn't even want to make the call. Like, oh, I guess I'll call. Ain't no urgency, ain't no nothing, man. Hold up. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent at all. Did he get treatment originally from when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We, we're just here and he can't, he can't move. Is there any uh, obvious broken? He can't move. <laughs> Call the ambulance, you jackass. Oh, yo, man, no disrespect to his wife. But come on, Kev, that's why you need a sister sister in your life. Cause she would have jumped down and gave you CPR and did all called her mama before you know it. The whole church would have been at your house if you would have had a sister sister with you, bruh. It, it, this sound like the chick that was with Kevin Samuels, man. Oh my goodness. Like I think he's alive, but he's dead. Yes. Can you help him breathe it? Yes, my breast is too big to do CPR. I, I can't. See this, man. Y'all need to get with some, some real women and ladies. Hold on, man. And this ain't no disrespect. I could see why he married her. She is bad, but a lot of times when they be bad like that, <clears throat> she looked like she was spoiled her whole life, and Kevin's still spoiling her ass. Like, you didn't buy me a mink. Like, come on, baby, got on a nice shirt. I wanted a mink, Kevin. She looked mean as hell. Beautiful family. I ain't talking about their kids. But uh, who was his girlfriend before? Hold on, man. Who was his ex-wife? Um, before. Who he was with before he got with this chick? That's what I want to know. Hold on, Kevin Hart, ex-wife. Because on the show, he wasn't even married like that. Hold on. He was with her fine ass. Bruh. You should have stayed with her. Your babies would have never went hungry. Oh, my God. She's beautiful. That was your girl. Y'all make a beautiful couple. That was your one, Kevin. You blew it. She wouldn't have been on the phone sounding all stupid. She would have dragged your ass in the car and took you to the hospital. Look at her. Come. That, Kevin. She's fine. She was. That was the one, bro. And, and no knock towards his, his new chick. But come mm -mm. She She ain't no soul sister, brother. I'm sorry. She is not about to put them turkey necks in them greens like how this woman would, man. And I ain't here to talk about his personal life. But shit ain't making no sense to me, man. I don't know about y'all. Listen to his wifey on the phone one more time. He was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 
No, no, no treatment at all. We we're just here, and he can't. He can't move. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? You see anything broken? I just something on his back is pulling out on his spine. What? What? <sighs> That's what you call a broken bone. Is there any obvious broken bones that you can tell? You see anything broken? Mm, just some sticking on his back is pulling out. Pulling out on his spine. On his Heart spine. is expected to make a full recovery after undergoing back surgery. But four days after the accident, police sources familiar with the matter tell NBC News the investigation remains ongoing after a late night ride involving one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Oh my God, they still in bed. What you gonna do, man? <clears throat> he left the scene. He wasn't even there when the, when the cops arrived. They're, Everybody else was there, and God bless them. I, I hope, I pray that they're still alive. I don't know for sure. And I'm already nervous about doing this video after un uncovering all of this stuff. So I'm just going to assume they're still alive. Kevin Hart is still alive. So that's a plus. That's a win for everybody. But um, that true story, man, sometimes you got to tell the truth, even if it ain't the whole truth. You got to put it out there for the people, for the fans. And I ain't never seen Kevin Hart be so serious in a damn a movie, a show, or nothing like that. But like I said, this is all alleged allegations, speculations because I'm a fan. Look at this, y'all. Tracy Morgan in critical condition tonight at a New Jersey hospital. He was injured in a multi-vehicle accident on the New Jersey Turnpike. This is what's left of the mangled limousine Morgan and five others were riding in. Wait a minute. Damn. Turnpike. This is what's look at the vent. The left of the main. Oh. Now you know that Tracy Morgan was not sitting in the front seat. Y'all know they like them Maybacks and they be sitting way back in the back. The back is crushed. Hold on, man. Single limousine Morgan and five others were riding in. Millions of Americans know him Woo! from his years on 30 Rock, playing a larger than life version of 30 Rock. Millions of Americans know him from his years. Oh my God, it's like a can of tuna fish in that damn car, man. The seats, <clears throat> it looked like somebody put that car in a blender. That shit, the, mmm. And, and he walking, talking, acting like nothing happened. Like they ain't even got no limp. They not fucked up. They just, they just lit. I don't know, man. Y'all got to let me know if y'all feel like this true story had anything to do with his real life. And how you going to be Mr. Fitness in your, your spine? How you going to be able to do a, another pull up, bruh? After that, you still doing pull-ups? God is good, though. And you know what? I don't put nothing past God. I can't say, oh, this is impossible. Anything is possible, man. And if Kevin Hart is a believer like I think he's a believer, you know, he's overcome some amazing obstacles in his life, man. So if he able to do it and stay determined and keep moving, I'm not here to tear the brother down. All I'm trying to say is to me, I don't know about you. All of this don't make no sense. So when you make a show called True Story, people will stop asking questions about your real life. When you put out something that deep and that serious, people don't even care because entertainment is more than the truth for people. People don't want the truth. People want entertainment. And if the entertainment is more entertaining than the truth, then that's what people want. This was a genius move to put out this show because you can put scrape so much under the rug and remember in the show when the dude he said i seen y'all dump that body 
And um, Kevin Hart like, oh, you know, I'm going to be your best friend and all that shit. Who was the dude that reported the car crash? Who was the person there at the scene that seen everything? Because somebody seen everything. But the news and what we got is a completely different story from the real story that really happened. What if the person at the scene <clears throat> saved Kevin and took him home and just left everybody else because he's the biggest superstar? I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm your biggest fan, Kevin. I'll do anything. I'm your biggest fan. I'll take you home. Where are you, buddy? No problem. Let's get out of here, Kevin. He probably in debt to that mother for the rest of his life the same way he was on the show, man. You just never know. And it was this dude right here on the show. <clears throat> the fan that just couldn't. Loved him to death. He like, look, man, you can't tell nobody what happened. Because if you do, that's going to get me in a lot of trouble. And then eventually they wound up killing his ass, him and his brother. Man, I'm trying to let y'all... And when you got to shut one person up, you got to shut somebody else. I don't need to shut up because, Kevin, I'm, I'm I'm gone. I don't even want to touch this no more. I do some scary documentations, but this shit is damn near creepy. We love you anyway, young fella. And uh, y'all make sure I got to go, man. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit, hit, hit that cash app, dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I would greatly appreciate that. Got so much love for the people in the comment section. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and hit them like buttons too, man. All y'all watching these documentations, ain't nobody hit the like button. Y'all shouldn't do me like that. And y'all know all I do is show y'all some love, but y'all still do me dirty. And the reason why a lot of y'all mad is because there's some beautiful ladies that don't even care about Kevin Hart or none of that. They just showed up for me. And that's why I got so many haters. All y'all beautiful women, y'all making it hard for me, man. But I know why y'all got love for me because I got love for y'all. And I risk my life to give you these documentations, baby. I, 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 I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations. Girl, I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl.